They liked engaging with the instructor and with their peers, and they also really liked the community that was being built in the classroom, not just having to memorize notes out of a textbook. Part of this, I think, came from even my own experience as an undergrad. Although I'm an assistant professor of food microbiology now, when I was an undergrad, I hated micro courses. I hated the biology classes. And so now, when it's my job to teach those courses, it seemed like it didn't have to be that way, right? It could be much more applied uh, and students could be a lot more engaged in the content. And so um, our goal in this case was, was to improve some of those student experiences in some of these foundational lecture classes. I'm super passionate about STEM education because it can be very um, overwhelming um, for students at times. You know, there's a, there's a focus on metacognitive skills um, in the educational community, um, but you just don't see as much of how that affects students' ability to navigate their STEM degree in a larger context. So I really think looking at things like sense of belonging um, and self-confidence and how that affects them um, and connecting that with metacognitive skills uh, is a really important area um, to examine. So I became a food science major as a result of my father. He's a chef and I've always been involved in the food industry since I was been a young child. And then I learned from a college tour here at Cornell that you can be a food science major and that was a really exciting opportunity. So I just applied and I got in and I've been loving it ever since. I was a little nervous taking the course at first because I'd, it's a lot of information you have to know. You have to learn all these different bacteria. Some you might not have ever heard about before until taking this class. And you're trying to memorize it for an exam. So the class is really structured so you can really engage with groups, especially where I got to talk with like my classmates and also got to like interact with the professor would always ask questions throughout the entire course. So I felt really comfortable asking questions in class and not just being the one guy just slowing down the lecture as a result. One example of an activity we use to help students um, kind of synthesize and apply a lot of the basic content from the theoretical lecture portion of the course was an activity we did in small groups where the teams were responsible for solving or participating in an outbreak investigation. Students were presented with a hypothetical scenario and asked to walk through the steps of an outbreak investigation, completing the calculations with clues that we gave them over time in order to, to reach a conclusion and kind of justify that decision. We got to really practice like the skills we learned throughout the entire course and actually apply it to like a case study that we could possibly do in the future. I definitely felt that I developed a lot of my skills and a lot of the more confidence in my ability, especially for microbiology. So we pulled a few different methods uh, to adopt for this class, uh, mostly in collaboration with instructional designers at the Center for Teaching Innovation. And a lot of the methods we picked really centered developing kind of a higher level of student engagement and helping them not feel like they were just memorizing a bunch of science facts. And so some of the methods we pulled um, are, are kind of conventional, like many low stakes tests. Low stress to give them a sense of the type of questions they'll be asked and to get practice in some of uh, test taking skills. Social annotation, the idea that as a classroom as a whole, we could develop kind of a public good in a shared set of classroom notes. And then we also adopted discussion days, so opportunities for students to reflect on what we had learned so far, but also they could request information, further information on certain topics. So having to kind of self-assess where you are in learning and where are the gaps is an important kind of metacognitive skills to improve their learning outcomes. The working with groups was really helpful for me, especially coming into the class and you might be nervous like, trying to ask questions initially. Your group would uh, work on this sheet to summarize like the lecture for the day. So it was really helpful so you can really review the knowledge, especially if like your peers. I'm taking a course right now called Food Safety Assurance, also talked about Dr. Snyder. And a lot of the stuff I actually remember from like the previous course. It really showed how effective her teaching style was for my educational and my growth as a food science major. The assessments um, were a series of surveys that we gave to the students um, throughout the semester. We looked at a couple different categories. So one thing was their study habits. Then we also asked them a series of questions um, assessing like what was their sense of belonging um, in the course and compared to previous science courses. Do you feel like you can share an opinion in class? Do you feel like you can ask a question in class? Most students agree that discussion days and share notes help them succeed in the course. Sometimes mm -hmm. in, in uh, 
um, education, we rely on mm -hmm. a lot of qualitative metrics yeah. to assess how courses went. A student mm -hmm. told me this, and so therefore <laughs> I think the class went this way or that way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the work you did, I think, in this project was to just make that a lot more robust and a lot mm -hmm. more quantitative um, through these kind of surveys. And I, you know, you did work with some folks in in CALS as well at the college level in order to kind of mm -hmm. develop the survey. You went through the IRB process mm -hmm. and it kind of resulted in this analysis at the end. The advice that I have for people coming into the course is that it might seem really scary at first, but uh, Dr. Snyder really breaks it down the course for you. So as long as you like pay attention to the course, you take like the messages seriously, and you ask questions when you're really confused, that'll help you succeed in the course and it won't be as scary as you think it is.